too. Hello. And I you can listen to my fan. <laughs> At least that. Good evening. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry. Good evening. <laughs> it's normal. Happy day. No <laughs> okay. Um, so, how are you doing today? How are you doing so far today? Have you finished the platform? That's excellent. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. No, not yet, just the last part I missed. But I think uh, I just have the 54% instead the, the 100 or more. Mm. Maybe it's because the problem that you say, right? Yes, I, I, I asked them about that because uh, some people already got the certificate. Some people were able to finish the platform and get the certificate, but the date, well, the year of the certificate, it stated that is the 2019. So, and I reported the problem that you have, that you have completed the platform. Some people is, is, uh, has completed everything and uh, someone sent me the picture, they, they were very useful because yes, I, when you check on the progress, all the bars are like a hundred percent, but the bar for the final exam is not showing anything. But then um, one of your classmates sent me the picture where it checks section one complete, two, three, four, five, and final exam complete. But when um, he goes to the, to the bar check, it shows like nothing in the final exam. So I showed that to the uh, to Miss Elena and they told me that they were going to talk with the provider to solve that issue. So they are aware that you are having that problem. So they're going to solve it. So you, you, you just continue working, uh, try to finish with the platform as soon as possible and complete the paperwork because they are aware that you have been working on the platform and it's giving that error. We hope to have it fixed before we go to vacations. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. And uh, what about the rest of you? Have you finished the platform? Yes, sir. yes Jose? Uh, no, yet, yes. <clears throat> Uh, well, in my case, at the beginning of the course, I I had troubles to with the platform. I with the login, I wasn't able to see the, the 
the content of the platform, but I don't know it was because the day, uh, the, the day, well, in the, uh, there was a message in, in the platform that it said, uh, this course will be starting uh, in 2031. So in, in now I am listening that you said that the certificate is is saying the 2019. So maybe the the dates are not in a good setting. Uh -huh. That is for people who already got the certificate for this module in some cases, not all of them, but yes, um, some of them I see from other group that they got the certificate and the date was correct. But for some reason in some other cases, the date is not um, okay. Uh, when you see the dates of the platform, and this is important to know, um, when you log into the platform, they, it has like a starting date of the course and, um, and a finishing date. That date is never accurate. They give a more chance, like for example, I think that this um, module is going to finish by the middle of September. And probably when you log into the platform, you see that it has a different date, like uh, to the end of September. And that is because, um, um, they take also the time that they are preparing the paperwork to start the next module. So that date is not accurate, never accurate. Any other question? Or concern in regards of that? Or maybe about an exercise that you would like to solve? Or we start the class. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, do you remember what were we discussing yesterday? About the celebrate. About celebrations, holidays. It's okay. Celebrate. What is your favorite? Customs. Customs, yes. What is your favorite uh, holiday on the year, Stephanie? Uh, my favorite holiday is on um, Christmas. Christmas, why? Yes, mm. because I share with my family and friends and I get gifts and I receive gifts. <laughs> okay, and also uh, more money because we got bonus at work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the best thing we got money <laughs> and the bonus. Yes, that is the best part of Christmas. And uh, yes, we can spend that money without worrying too much about that, right? So, yes, uh, what I love about Christmas is shopping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> some other things. Yes. And what about you, Byron? What is your uh, favorite holiday? Oh, because I, I have a, I'm working in a call center. Actually, I don't have a special celebration time. But as Stephanie said, I think it's going to be on December because of the extra bonus we got at, at work. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, but yeah. Yes, as you're working in a call center, I, I suppose that you get uh, Black Friday and Thanksgiving off. Actually, no, we no? don't have, uh, no, we don't have uh, the vacations like for the day off for the regulars, for international or for national, just we need to work and then just, they pay double. That's, that's for real. They pay double for that day because you are working in a holiday. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have any, you, you don't rest uh, the holiday from El Salvador or from the United States, you never rest? No, just I uh, have my my gen, my annual vacations, I think it is. Okay, your annual yeah. vacations, okay. Annual vacation, yeah, and it's coming soon. I'm asking for it because I have already one year, but I'm asking for my vacation, I, I really need it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel you. 
and yes. uh, what do you do there? You just uh, call in and uh, or do other tasks. I do other tasks. It's like for back office. Uh, Mm, yeah, like a back office and also for helping to the supervisor. It's like a help desk and not really taking calls and just helping for the agents that will really take the calls. And if they, uh, the customer asks for the supervisor, so I will be the one who is going to be taking that call. So I, I take around maybe four calls for a day or five calls per day. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a little bit tired, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so but besides taking those calls, you do other activities, right? Like replying yeah. emails and things like that. Yeah, a lot of emails and things for the reports for the agents of the time, the auxiliaries they have and things like. So you're like a real-time analyst. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And the rest of you, what's your favorite holiday? Any volunteer? No? Okay. So uh, we're going to uh, continue with this. Uh, yes? What is the correct pronunciation for otoño? Autumn. Autumn. Yes, or you can say fall. Fall. Oh, oh. Autumn. Or fall. It's the same. Fall como caer. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's talk a little bit about fate buried holidays. Um, I know most of us like uh, Christmas. Uh, it's kind of giving some troubles. Okay, favorite holidays. We're going to um, to do this individually. Uh, it's a pay work, but we're going to work on this individually. It says choose three favorite holidays, and then we're going to um, we're just going to talk about one. Think about the holidays that you have during the year. And uh, then we're going to make a short part of like, I really like this date. Um, it's a time when, so you have to describe what happened there. Using a relative close of time, it's a time when, okay? For example, you can say, I really like Mother's Day because it's a time when you have the chance to make your mother feel the most special person in the world. It's a time when you have, um, you can select um, among a, bar, a different or a huge variety of gifts for your mother and dedicate a whole day to, to her, right? So you have to say my favorite holiday is this because it's a day when people and this and this and this and you describe that day using a, a relative class of time. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to think in that special date and what makes that date special for you. You can write a couple of ideas on your notebook and then share with the class. I'll give you time for that.
Okay, volunteers. Volunteers to share about your favorite holiday. Me. Okay, thank you. Okay, my favorite holidays is Fiestas Agustinas. I don't know what I say in English, Fiestas Agustinas. Yeah, I really see. like, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. August holidays. Ah, August holiday. Uh, I really like because it's the birthday, birthday time. My daughter and my son is uh, have her hair and his birthday, and I can spend the day, all the day with with them. That that's it. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. Very nice. Thank you so much, Maria. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, my favorite day is Christmas because I share it with all my family and I eat turkey, turkey and I like it. And I wear new clothes and receive gifts and money. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Any other Thank volunteer? You. Is there anybody else who would like to participate? Me, no? sure. Okay, Manuel. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, every day is a, a party for me <laughs> because uh, um, we are live and healthy. And it's uh, really good. And uh, how do you say si se trata de fecha especial? If it's come to? Yeah, if it comes to celebrate uh, or uh -huh. if, if it uh, to come celebrate uh, uh, a day in special is uh, uh, Christmas day because uh, is which uh, I get uh, together with my whole family and, and make a new year, new year's uh, Proposed or resolutions. A purpose. For, for, a purpose for for New Year. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. Every day is a party, right? So we need to celebrate every single day that we have that amazing uh, gift when you open your eyes in the morning. It's uh, an amazing right. gift from God. <laughs> Another day. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I, I feel that and I realize because sometimes we start complaining and complaining and complaining and uh, some people, uh, it's it's not here anymore to enjoy the little things that at the end they are not so little things when it comes to life, celebrate. Okay, anybody else? Me teacher. Okay. I I really like the Mother Day because I share with my family and my kids give present for me and they 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 take letters tell me your love for me. No, they write letters to express their love for you. Yes, teacher. Oh, amazing! <laughs> Thank you so much, Luis. Uh, I really like uh, Christmas Eve because uh, the family get together to dinner and give each other gift and explode uh, rocket. Amazing. So you have a lot of fun there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. So and let us continue here. Uh, we have... Um, a conversation, we're going to listen to the audio and then we're going to practice pronunciation with our classmates. 
see the audio is here. Like. Hmm. Share sound. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan, so we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, so we have the conversation here. Oh, this is what you already listened on the on the platform. So you have any question in regards of vocabulary? What is the meaning of afterward? The pictures. Uh... I don't see it. Go to the ceremon ceremony, but afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. Well, okay. Well, usually only family members and close go to the so afterward. It's like um, después de eso. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. William. Mommy. Okay, any other question? For, I have one, but I think it's not showing in there. It's about the present that they gave to the, to the, to the ones who, who go to the, to the wedding. Ah, yes, because that part is not the shine, shown. I don't know who are. So. Um, yes, the shrine. It's like sugar ceramic or something like that. I think they said. Uh huh. It it is because let's see. Because. As you see, that I see that Thank it's you. not very clear in this picture. Uh, as yeah. you see, it finishes here. That uh, let me make it bigger. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's like um, money to the bride and grooms. And then it says, listen to the rest of the conversation. So it is not shown here in the picture, the rest of the conversation, like the script. But yeah, we can go ahead and listen again. So we can practice pronunciation, listen for details and see what comes after or what is that gift that they give to the guest. Okay. 
celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Did you get it, Byron? Yes, uh, yes. And just another thing. What is at the beginning where they celebrate their wedding? The try, or try, I don't know. It's yes, like in I, a mountain or something like that. The shrine is a santuario. Oh, can you write it on the chat to, can I get the right, right? I think it is here. Uh, the, this conversation, I think is, la, 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 let's see, what in future, uh, da, 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 in, in Japan, at uh, a shrine, here it is. Oh yeah, I got it. Shrine, uh, yeah, it looks like santuario. That is the shrine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what what did the 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 bride and the groom give to the guest? A ceramic box of candies or sweet or I don't know. Sweets. Think. Uh huh. Sweets. Uh huh. Yeah. That is a, a general word that it refers to. It might be uh candies, chocolate, sweet things like sweets. So yes, they uh, they give the their guest sugar because sugar is a symbol of happiness. I would say diabetes, but okay, uh, that is a symbol of happiness. So they give a ceramic box filled with sweets. Interesting. That's a yes. nice detail, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. The bride and groom give it to the guest only sugar or candies, uh, chocolate. Uh, yes, sweets. Uh huh. It, it's a, a ceramic box filled with sweets. They can be chocolate, candies, uh, things made of sugar or, or that contains sugar. <laughs> okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Very good question. Any other? Is there any other question or are you ready to practice it in groups? We are ready. Okay, so um, we have this conversation in the presentation that I already sent to you on Saturday. So, and let me create the breakout rooms. Let's, um, like sorry, okay.
we are for. If you want, I can uh, begin with Jill, then Cristina Emiko, then Tatiana Jill, and then Gerardo Emiko. Uh, and okay. Yes, continue. Well, in my case, I cannot tell you when it is because it's raining here. And I'm trying to connect my headphones, but I cannot get it. Uh, oh, oh. Um, we, we can do two by two. I don't know. Nah, okay. I'm going to begin and then continue. Your okay. wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Okay, thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Me. You or Tatiana? Ah, oh, okay. Um, where was the ceremony? At the at shrine. A, oh, okay. Yeah. At the shrine, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Awesome. That's again. That interesting, where there are a lot of people there. I mean, well, usually only family member and club friends go to the ceremony, but afterward we have a rotation with family and friends. So what are the receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner. And after the meal, the guests give the speeches or sing song. It sounds like fun. Pretty new. And then before the guests win, the bride and groom give them presents. Hold on, Deva. And the. La penúltima, no la voy a hacer en inglés. The present. The guest. The guest. Um, the guest get present. Yes, and the guest give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Again. Okay. Jose can do that. If you want to be begin again, Gerardo. Okay, okay. I am good. You're wearing pixels already beautiful. Present. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bread and the groom. Okay. And Finish. Yes. No, Luis. Yes, we reading uh, with me. Um, puedo leer yo? Okay. Uh, ¿Quién era? ¿Quién ac acaba de leer tú? ¿Quién era? Yo era Jill. Okay. Hoy tú serás amigo. Okay, me parece. ¿Quién es Jill? Okay. Your wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the... Uh, where was the ceremony? Um, at the shine when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony the shine that's interesting were there a lot of people there well usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony but afterward 
we had a reception with family and friends. So what are, what are reception like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing song. It's song, like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests, the guests get a present? Yes, and the guests give money and the bride and groom. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, another uh, repeat. For me and Jim. Okay, and I, Emiko. Your wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When a people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Where there are a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we have a reception with family and friends. So what are the reception like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. I think uh, finish it and... Oh, yes, finish. Go back the group. Command the group. Sure. Yes. What is the meeting meeting meaning at after war? Is I can barely hear you. It's like you are far, far away. Can you repeat that for me, please? What what is the mean, meaning of uh, after war? Después de eso, ajá, uh -huh. como después, des, decir después. And the pronunciation shrine, shrine. Okay, any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, uh, we can continue here and choose the correct word or phrase here. For example, we have wedding um, are often held in a restaurant or hotel. So what is the word that best completing number one would be that celebrations, flowers or birthdays? Uh, celebration. Okay, can you read the complete sentence? A wedding celebration are often held in a restaurant or hotel. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent job. Number two, let's see. Children's Day is a day when people in many countries court, honor, or their children. 
Honor. Honor. Okay. Can you read the complete sentence? Children's Day, it's a day when people in many country, countries honor their children. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, number three. Um, volunteer for number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Fall is the season when North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay, excellent job. Um, number four, volunteer. I'm going to try because I have some company, a little dog. <laughs> In Indonesia, on, on a happy day, Balinese people obs observe a day of silence to begin the New Year. Okay. Um, I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, but I can uh, barely hear. Can you repeat it? In Indonesia, on a happy day, Balinese people observe a day of silence to begin the new year. Okay, that's an option. And another option? Okay, uh, well. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. I, it was kind of difficult, I know, because the internet, it's like sometimes some people is being kicked out from the section because of internet outages. And yes, but thank you so much for being here, for being participating. That helps a lot in your learning process. And the uh, Let's continue here with this exercise. We have the pronunciation exercise. I think that we still have time to practice this. We're going to watch the video, listen for pronunciation, stress, and rhythm. Let's listen the audio. And then we're going to get back here. Here it is. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, here you can see the exercise clearer. Um, any question in regards of the audio or the video that we just watched? I think I'm, I'm still having difficult to pronounce, uh, have the ceremony at a shrine or shrine. Trying, it's uh, like you see it here. Trying, trying, trying. It's like it's like Shrine. shine, but with an R. Trying, uh huh. Trying, trying. Like you're going to say camarón, like cream. That's what says trying. Trying, trying, uh huh. Trying, like schwa, like schwa sound. Trying, 
Shrine. Shrine is similar to church. Uh, yeah, but that is ch and the other sh shrine. Shrine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the meaning? The meaning? The meaning of shrine. Who remembers? Santuario. That is correct. Santuario. Mm -hmm. Then? This is similar to a uh, church. A church in yes, Salvador. that would be the, the equivalent here in El Salvador. Okay. Oh, sí, porque allá en Japón ellos sí, más que todo hacen eso. En santuarios y por religión también creo que es algo así. Ajá, uh -huh. I think that they don't have uh, like uh, too many churches, so they are like very spiritual. <laughs> yeah, they are uh, very spiritual people, so there are shrines everywhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's try this one. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. So let us try to practice these sentences. Um, with uh, using the stress and rhythm. The rhythm is, uh, it's about okay. respecting those little pauses after, um, um, like for example, after a comma, after a period, you do like a little pause, right? So that is the rhythm. So as you see here, you're not going to say all these things without stopping, right? So you have to make a little pause here when you see the comma. And you go like, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony at a shrine. So you have to make a little pause. And then we have three sentences to practice. We're going to practice with these sentences in groups. And you can help the classmates with pronunciation as well. So let's okay. go to breakout rooms.
<laughs> okay, so um, how are you feeling so far here in this module? We are about to finish the section number three and then we just have two more left. And uh, yes, I think that today we are reaching our class number eight, meaning that we are in the half of the model now. How do you feel? Byron? I guess time flies when you are learning something new. Okay, it's nice to hear that you feel that time flies because it, it means that it's not boring. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah actually... we are finished. And I, I think that we already, we we started in a few days. I mean, um, a couple of days ago. And now we are about to, to finish. It's, it's really, it's really faster. <laughs> the time is going flying. Yes, time is yes. flying this year especially. Yes, Byron? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And actually when we are in class after work and it's like a long day, but we are like trying to get all the information that you are teaching us and it's awesome and everything is good as for now. And I'm really happy to be in this class as well because I'm, try I'm trying to get better in the things that I have to fix for or I don't know, not, it's, I think fix is not the word, but to get a new a knowledge of everything and, and also for, it's gonna be to get a better um, puesto in my job. I don't remember how to, or to grow up in my company or to improve myself in there and things like that. Yeah, okay, improved. so it, it is interesting because yes, you are practicing, even though you can say, ah, oh, but I have a job in a call center, but that is not enough. And you are conscious about it. That is awesome that you want to improve, that you are aware that you need to learn new things. We all learn new things. You don't think uh, that it is just because you are a um, student. We also <laughs> learn new things every day. Yes, and sometimes we have to study before the classes because sometimes, yes, especially with this type of courses and the software courses, sometimes we, we are, um, we find new vocabulary, especially for English for work program. Yeah, it's kind of difficult yeah. because sometimes we, we study vocabulary related to specific areas of words. So we need to be prepared more than for a regular class. So we are all writing and that is awesome that you took this chance and, and also that you want to be promoted to a better job position there. Uh, yes, that will be there is another thing that I was going to ask uh, because I'm I platform on the fight and there is like for present, future, and in the past. So I and there is some examples that it's like for how to get a job or like an interview or things like that. Uh, and if you can add some extra material, I think that is going to be uh good for everyone because i think we are learning english as well to get a better job at or also for ourselves to improve in everything okay um yeah i'm going to share um i think i i i'm going to look for that i i used to watch some videos that helped me a lot to get that the <laughs> the chance to take another, a, a better position there at work. So I'm going to share that uh, that link with you probably tomorrow or today later. Mm -hmm. And yes, Perfect. yeah, we Thank can you. also include more material to practice in classes. That's awesome to hear that. So I wanted to know, yes, how are you feeling? Because the idea is not to be running to complete the platform, is that you learn new things, that you practice new vocabulary. 
and that is the purpose. So I'm happy to hear that you are okay so far, that you feel happy. And yes, any recommendation, anything that you can think that can be improved is very welcome. Uh, so yes, tomorrow I think that we will finish section number three and probably we will start the section number four. Thank you, I appreciate the effort that you're making to be here. And remember that this, um, we finish uh, on, yes, on Thursday, and then we have uh, like the August break, and we're gonna get back on Monday 9th. So we're almost going to rest a little bit from this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, thank you for coming to today's I'm section. Going to get and vacation for English class. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel you. So, thank you for joining today's section. I hope that you rest and sleep well, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Have a, Have nice, a nice rest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>